In this video, we will learn about endangered animals. What are endangered animals? Endangered animals are the species of animals that are on the verge of extinction. They are now few in numbers, and their protection is necessary for saving their kind. Why do animals become endangered? Animals become endangered due to Loss of habitat Hunting Unable to adapt to climatic variations Let's talk about some of the endangered animals. Tiger The number of tigers is declining majorly because of loss of habitat. Humans have been cutting down forests for agriculture, setting up industries, and residential purposes. This has led to the diminishing of the habitats of tigers. Poaching of tigers, for body parts, is another reason for their declining numbers. Today, there are less than 4,000 tigers in the world. Giant Panda China is the home to the most loved cuddly mammal, giant panda. Giant panda's number has declined to less than 2,500, due to poaching, deforestation, and depleting of bamboo plants on which they feed. China is making several efforts to reforest, and save the loving mammal. The tireless efforts, have proven beneficial as the mammal has been now moved from endangered, to vulnerable species. Rhinoceros Another endangered animal is rhinoceros, whose numbers have declined due to the loss of habitat and poaching, majorly, for their horns. At the beginning of the 20th century, there roamed 500,000 rhinos in Africa and Asia. By 1970, rhino numbers dropped to 70,000, and today, around 27,000 rhinos have remained in the wild. Blue Whale There were around 300,000 blue whales in 1926. The number has declined to around 25,000 today. This is majorly because of whaling, the process of hunting whales for their blubber and meat. Amur Leopard and Asian elephants, have also become endangered animals due to loss of habitat and poaching. Efforts are being made to save the endangered species from extinction. These include conservation of habitat, stopping poachers, building awareness and partnerships with local communities, governments and business owners, reforestation, and promoting sustainable forestry and agriculture.